Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Warplanes Overview. Seems like yet another App Lab success story moving to the official store. I feel like nowadays it is way better to transfer between the stores like that because some stuff we were getting this year on the official store doesn't really meet the minimal requirements of the quality even to be a good experiences. I feel like nowadays proving yourself on SideQuest or App Lab and then officially releasing and being approved by Oculus seems way more prestigious because then you earn kind of the trust of the community and it's transferring like for a reason. People love that game and it is being recognized as a quality product. So good for them and let's see what's up with that. So Warplane seems to be a dogfighting plane simulator where you fly around destroying certain targets in World 1 1 scenarios, saved from other enemies in the planes, just bases, with a variety of machines like scout planes to even bombers. I've heard about this game a couple months ago. It was very popular on the Quest subreddit, I believe, and for a good reason because it seemed really polished for the standalone standard, so it's not like a total surprise that it's coming officially. I think we've had flying games before in Quest, one of them was Ultra Wings, but I've never tried that. Nowadays I play every single game that's releasing, but back in the day when I was just starting out with VR content, I was selecting things more familiar to me. Flying planes is not really my style. I think the biggest concern, obviously, is like the locomotion. I consider having a strong stomach nowadays, but doing barrel rolls while I'm actually sitting in real life seems quite challenging, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Usually it is up to the developer actually to figure it out how the locomotion kind of solve, because if Dash Dash could do it, then it means it is possible, it's just a matter of development. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna try it even standing because it is just asking for trouble. And this is gonna be my first time playing this game because it's not like I was hesitant to try it out. I guess I just don't follow the crowd and play whatever is popular, but I'm expecting to be surprised, so we'll see what's up with this. <laughs> Whoa, we're already in error. <laughs> Campaigns, quick play, control settings, comfort mode. Nope. Okay, I think we're good. Controls. Do we have a tutorial? I kind of want to do that. Is it like factions? I'm not sure. Leisure, simplified flying model, auto aiming on all targets is as available. Arcade, realistic simulation, real war. Okay, so the level of immersion we want. Should we go for real war? I mean, I want to experience the actual flying. This might be a trap, so we'll see. In 1918, the Great War has changed the world. While the infantrymen die in the trenches, high above them, ace pilots are risking their lives to change the course of the war. You are one of the pioneers of aerial warfare. Oh my god. Your first mission is to destroy enemy fighters. Check the manual in your cockpit if you need more information and guidance. Oh, this is the tutorial. Cool. <laughs> Stirring. Oh my god. Oh, okay, changing speed. Actually, it is not that bad. <laughs> hey! Oh <my laughs> So that's how they did it in the First World War, okay. Alright, this is intuitive. I thought it's gonna be way harder. Protect Zeppelins. I think I might get locomotion sick soon, but we'll see. <laughs> Wait, he went through the Zeppelin. The hell? I shot him! Yay! Come back here! Seems like something's leaking. Oh my god, I'm the most chaotic! Pilot. I mean, I like the steering, but I'm gonna downgrade one each every time to just see the difference. Now I have like markers. That might be more fun for me because I know where to go. Oh, that was like a kamikaze tactic. This helps me to locate them. This is not easy. I thought it's gonna be easy. Like, now I understand why people love like flying simulators like that. I can't even concentrate on the target. It has to do with speed as well. <laughs> Come here. Yes. <laughs> Ow. Oh. No. Stop it. Is this like overheating thing? 
Whoa! But I'm dying. Damn it. <laughs> Realistic now. Oh, wow. Okay. That was way easier. It seems like I'm more stable now. So I can actually control. Destroy two fighters. What's happening on the ground? Okay, I like this mode. It's like not that hard to control. It is still sensitive, but it's not like overall. Eh? Nice. I feel like in higher like immersion systems, you have to actually have. I think it's called Hotas or something like that. It's like an actual stick instead of the controller to have like the best input for the game. Maybe that's why it was just like so chaotic to control. Come on. Okay. Locate the airfield, position plane on the axis on the runway. We're actually gonna land? Oh my god, okay. Damn, this is... No! Lower the plane and gently touch the ground on the runway. Gently? In everything goes wrong, fly out and try again. I don't know if it's gently... Ah, oh, I'm a master! Ah, oh, so interesting! Okay. Planes shop. You can buy other stuff like bombers and stuff. Alright. Multiplayer? No way! Wait, that's crazy that this game would have the multiplayer. What the hell? It seems like there are some people already. Real war. Oh my god. <laughs> They're giving me the hardest immersion system. Okay, we'll see. Well, <laughs> we're actually playing with other people. What? 50 fighters? That's crazy that this game like enables that. I'm already half HP. <laughs> Wait, that's mine! <laughs> Damn, there's so many planes that I don't know to which focus. Yes! I'm useful! What is this? A flare? <laughs> okay, I'm doing way better on the real war than before, that's for sure. Oh wait, this is mine. <laughs> Damn, it's loud here. Ow! <laughs> wait, what's this? <laughs> okay, I didn't know that I have to... Damn, this map is so huge. Like, it's crazy for quest capabilities. Mayhem going on here. I love this. Let's go there. I'm not getting motion sick at all. I'm flying and all, doing barrel rolls and stuff, but I'm really not, like, getting sick. Very surprising. Yes! <laughs> Don't hit my polish! <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, damn. You can just fly for hours here, so <laughs> let's go back. This is actually crazy that you can play with other people here. Like, what? How is it even possible on quest? So we have this plane, right? So we can buy something else. This is cute and all. Maybe like others will be easier to steer and stuffing. Extremely fast and durable plane designed to intercept and destroy enemy bombers. I guess we would see. Let's go to Germany. Damn, what? I'm amazed. Okay, press throttle forward. If speed is over 100 kilometers, pull the stick back to lift off. Read altitude of 1 kilometer to flight mission. <laughs> Not crashing to the trees. This is pretty stable. I guess every plane has its own parameters. That's very interesting that you have to like tap the weapon to have it work. Ow! 
We have back guns. You know what's amazing? The actual environment, because I think it is 360. I can see like on the lines from the moon, but it does not appear like that at all. Thanks. <laughs> the alarm. I feel like I tend to fly upside down constantly. <laughs> I actually, fun fact, wanted to become a pilot, like for the passengers and stuff. That was my first, like, passion to go with when I was going to school. I think that means he's getting chased. <laughs> Two more bombers and five fighters. <laughs> oh, so close. Alright, I'm gonna stop here, but this game is very cool, Jesus. I did not expect the quality like that, especially if coming from Apple. I mean, it's like, yes, those games transfer for a reason, because it is actually worth to release officially on the store. But just the quality of it and just the gameplay is, I feel like, out of this world if we're talking about just quests specifically. Like, we have open map. What? We have big fights in multiplayer with bombers and planes, like, what? Like, this game has so many good things going on. Campaign, multiplayer, good mechanics. I mean, the graphics are not even terrible. This is a hit in my eyes, like, I'm amazed. And I'm gonna play more. I'm not sure if this campaign is gonna be, like, you know, very much worthwhile to put on the channel, but it is fun to play. Holy moly. And you're not getting sick at all. Maybe that's my just experience in VR altogether, because doing battles like that in air might get most of the people sick but if you are not then lucky for you because this game is great